Now, if you want to hit the track and burn some rubber at 350 kilometers an hour, then I suggest you stay tuned to this video and take a look with me at the new Shoei X SPR Pro. Let's take a look. To say that the new Shoei X SPR Pro is the successor to the X Spirit 3 would be a little bit of a half truth, to be honest. If we take a look at this helmet, we can see that it has been newly designed. I mean, the air intakes look different, the spoilers look different, the shape of the helmet is different, and the visor has the central locking mechanism, just like on the new NXR2. It really is a newly designed helmet. And to be very honest, the first thing you're gonna feel when you pick it up is the weight balancing. It feels really, really good. I expect you will be able to wear this helmet for hours on end. Now, the weight balancing being well done is quite important because this helmet is actually about 60 or 70 grams heavier than its predecessor. Not that that really makes big difference, but when the weight balancing is well done, you're not gonna notice that so much. To be honest, I think it's probably got something to do with the fact that this helmet is now ECE 2206 rated, as well as FIM certified. As you well may know, this means that the helmet has gone through stricter tests and that it is ready for the future. One thing I mentioned just now is the air vents. If we take a look at the vents on top, we can see that the one near the brow, which was previously on the Xperia 3, has been moved upwards along with the two at the side of the top. Uh, this has probably been done so that your windshield doesn't block the wind from actually entering the helmet. If you have a higher shield or you're really leaning forward, then you're gonna be missing some wind if the vent is only just above the visor. The intakes on the front, there's two of those. You can open those like so, and they provide obviously wind for the front and also wind through the cheek pads. And if we take a look at the inside of the interior, you can see that there are quite a lot of air openings uh, on the inside of the cheek pads that actually let the air through. So if you're doing really high performance stuff, this helmet will definitely give you enough uh, opportunities to keep you cool. The same counts for the inside of the helmet. If we take a look at the EPS liner, we can see pretty much more holes than I've seen on any helmet before. So I'm pretty sure that you're gonna have a great in and outlet when it comes to air and ventilation. Moving from the ventilation to the visor, this visor has a pin lock, which is the same for both type of visor, the competition visor and the regular visor, which was different on the previous model. And the pin lock actually um, goes above the rubber just a little bit. So you're not going to be looking at the pin lock edges at any point of the visor at all. I think it's a great feature and the visor itself is actually pretty big for a racing helmet and you're going to notice that when you put it on that the that the port for your eyes is big and when you look to the left when you look to the right you're not going to be seeing any edges of the helmet maybe a very little bit at the top depending on how you wear the helmet how you position it but to be honest it's a really really wide and high port apart from this the helmet has all the features you would expect like the emergency quick release cheek pads just pull the red tabs and you could take out the cheek pads very easily in the event of an emergency the helmet has a double d chin strap of course and it is also prepared for installing speakers for a universal communication system one other thing i'd just like to show you is the amount of detail that has gone into the design of the spoiler if you take a look through the opening you can see little fins on the inside showing that they have really, really checked this out in the wind tunnel. Um, the shape is, is so much more complex than I'm used to from Shoei, and it looks like they've really upped their game on this. I'm expecting big things, and like I said in the intro, this is the helmet you're going to want to get if you want to go and hit the track at 350 kilometers an hour, which a lot of people do. Another little interesting feature are these um, red switches on the visor mechanism. If you put the switches down, um, it actually locks the visor tighter and it won't be possible to remove the visor in that particular setting. So sometimes when you see people in the MotoGP who take a tumble and the visor flies off, if you have that setting down, that will not be possible with this helmet. You won't be able to change the visor, it won't come off. So it makes it stronger and tighter to the shell. We expect the helmet to start shipping at the end of summer 2022. That's probably only going to be like the matte black, the white, the glossy black, and we're gonna see some graphics later on. The starting price for this helmet is 799 euros in the standard colors, uh, 899 in the graphics, and 949 for the replicas. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed learning more about the new Shoei X SPR Pro. Uh, and if that is indeed the case, then hit the thumbs up button to thank us for all our hard work and to keep this going. If you want to make it even more crazy, you can always hit the subscribe button as well. And that way you're never going to miss anything that we bring out on the net for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching again. Check out our website, fortomoto.com, where of course you will find the best prices and worldwide shipping. And I'd love to see you again next time. Cheerio.